Hey, what's going on, everyone? I've got an exciting announcement today, and that is that I'm finally launching the Tutorial Linux, uh, I guess you could call it a companion site, the official website. Over the past year, this channel has grown quite a bit, and I've been coming up with new ideas and new things to do and new things to try. My goal is really always to sort of come up with good ways to teach the stuff that you absolutely need to become competent as a system administrator. YouTube is great, um, but it's not ideal for everything I want to do. Uh, specifically, a lot of people have asked for larger projects, and it's something that I've experimented with. Larger projects, often when you have the fundamentals down, are the best way to become a competent sysadmin because they force you to tie together all of the smaller sort of fundamental skills in a way that kind of teaches you how everything fits together, how to troubleshoot, um, what a real project looks like. It's, it's really hard to replicate that in 10 or 15 minute videos. So larger projects also are usually configuration heavy and it's not so exciting to be skipping around a YouTube video looking for, uh, for text that you're gonna copy out of the description to go into some files. So I've got this site set up. I've got some posts up. This will be growing quite a bit in the next month or so. Uh, so I've got some YouTube stuff already up, but I've got like, for example, the Monit monitoring article. A lot of this is copy and paste stuff, like copy this into your config file, this is how things work, this is which setting you want. So a lot of this is great because you can just copy and paste it right out of the post and into your config file and kind of work along at your own pace. It also lets me do things like post code snippets, scripts that I've written, or um, tools that save you time. And it also makes giving you guys like link lists to free resources, which are all over the place in varying degrees of quality, uh, much easier. So I can just do posts with like all the links that you probably want to get started with software development or DevOps or security, that kind of thing. The other big thing, as I mentioned, one of them is large projects. The other is audio content. Um, a lot of you have asked for podcast like audio content where I talk about some maybe less technical nitty gritty stuff and more business stuff, interviews with other sysadmins, developers, DevOps people, architects, that kind of thing. They're all really useful. They give you a feel for the industry, where things are going. They give you a chance to listen to people who are you know, specialists in their own field. IT is huge, it's growing. You know, it's a field where literally every six months a new job description sort of pops into reality stuff that didn't exist before. And all these things are totally viable careers. Like, I mean, you can have a satisfying career as just a database administrator. You can have an incredibly satisfying career as just a web developer or just a security specialist or just, you know, I don't know, DevOps is really young, but you get the point. I mean, all these things are growing so fast that they're becoming careers of their own. All these things that just used to be, you know, that's what you have the sysadmin do. Well, that's 20 different jobs. Audio content. That way you can listen to my soothing voice while you're driving to work or doing other stuff. I've already got a couple of these interviews lined up um, and I've already recorded some audio content. So that will be going up in the next month. It also kind of fits in well with what I originally wanted to do with the channel. You know, it's, I've been focusing mostly on technical things, but there's a lot of really huge aspects to system administration that I haven't really covered yet. And those are things like time management, which books to read, although I've just started doing that, teamwork, pairing with somebody, um, both for motivation and for catching problems, errors. It's really good to do projects with at least one other person, even if that person is just as new as you. And covering stuff about like the business aspect of the work, interview skills, what kind of projects to focus on doing so that you can talk about them intelligently and interestingly at an interview. It goes a long way. Um, I'll also have a mailing list. You might see it there on the right. Please sign up. It would be awesome to have a way to get in touch with you guys. Um, I'm also going to be kind of launching some free stuff there, bonus content. And it really just gives me the ability to get feedback on ideas that I can test out on you guys on the mailing list and kind of bounce ideas at you and say, you know, hey, how many of you would be interested in Project X? Does that sound cool? Obviously, I'm, I'll also experiment with uh, like polls and that sort of thing on the site. But I really, I want, I want this to be sort of the perfect tool for becoming a sysadmin. So I've been working hard on that. That said, if you guys have any ideas for content on the site, let me know in the comments here under this video. I've got some really good stuff queued up, as I mentioned, some of the audio things, some posts, but the more ideas I have, the better this will all turn out. So visit the site. Um, I've actually already entered it in the channel page, but it's tutorial Linux, 
that's with one L, dot com, you'll find me there. To those of you weeping and, and shivering right now, relax. I will continue to make free videos on YouTube. It's just that YouTube isn't the perfect format for everything. And I'd like to do, I'd like to kind of branch out and produce more different kinds of teaching materials. This also allows me to kind of team up with other people, like a lot of ex coworkers, people that I've really enjoyed working with, who are like complete experts at their own little corner of IT. I'm excited to bring you guys, bring some other voices into the, uh, into the mix. Yeah, I'm excited. Go check it out, tutoriallinux.com. Thanks again so much. You guys are the reason why I'm still doing these videos. Thanks for helping this channel grow at the crazy rate that it's grown over the last year. Thanks so much.